A big announcement today as the House Select Committee investigating the Capitol attack gets ready for its latest public hearing tomorrow. Steve Bannon, former Trump White House strategist, has agreed to testify. Also on the witness list is Donald Trump's White House counsel, Pat Cipollone. ABC's Justin Finch reports. Former White House Chief Strategist Steve Bannon says he is now ready to testify before the January 6th committee claiming Donald Trump has lifted the executive privilege order that had prevented him from complying with the select committee's subpoena. In letters obtained by ABC News, former President Trump says he's waiving executive privilege now because of how unfairly you and others have been treated. A letter from Bannon's lawyer adding he's ready to testify because circumstances have now changed. But Bannon's claim that he was ever covered by executive privilege has been called into question by Trump's lawyer. In an interview with Justice Department officials, Trump's attorney, Justin Clark, stated that at no point had Trump invoked executive privilege over Bannon's testimony, that information contradicting claims from Bannon and his defense team. All hell is going to break loose tomorrow. It's statements like this made on January 5th, one day before the Capitol insurrection, that the committee wants to question Bannon about. It's the panel wants happen. to hear if Bannon knew anything about events planned for January 6th. Bannon's past refusal to cooperate with the committee now has him facing criminal charges for contempt of Congress. Bannon seeking to testify live, but committee members prefer to record their interviews. Anybody that wants to come in, that knows information to talk to the select committee, we welcome them to do so. We welcome them to do so under oath. The committee also planning to present new videotape testimony from former White House counsel Pat Cipollone about what he saw and advised leading up to January 6th. Cipollone's testimony lasting some eight hours and more requests for testimony are coming into the committee. Like Steve Bannon, Oath Keepers founder Stuart Rhodes is offering to testify in a live public hearing, but that appears unlikely. Justin Finch, ABC News, Washington.